Hey, LeBron, what you see is the primary reason that Philly was able to build the double digit leads uh, sort of, you know, once a quarter almost that you guys had to kind of dig your way out of? Um, it was a game of rush for them. Uh, the first quarter was we put them to the free throw line way too much. I believe they had 12 free throw attempts at the end of the first quarter or something like that. And B probably may have like eight of those um, and it allowed them to get um, their defense set, um, you know, neutralized us being able to get stops to get out on the break. So got to do a better job of that. Um, but I thought, I mean, listen, besides that, I mean, we held them to 21 points in the second, uh, 26 and 26. And, um, you know, and gave ourselves an opportunity to win at the end. And it didn't go our way, but I loved our fight. We just got to do a better job with the, uh, you know, keeping our hands out of the cookie jar, especially with a guy like Embiid who has, you know, hard and like, um, um, you know, magic as far as uh, the swipe moves and things of that nature. You know, up until that uh, final run there, the shots weren't going down. That's happened a couple times on this trip. Have you seen anything different, or is it uh, sort of make-miss uh, in the way that you guys are getting shots and then converting from the perimeter? Uh, I mean, I, I think we got some great looks. Um, you know, we play the same way every game. It's not like we change our approach, you know. And, um, you know, our shooters kind of struggle tonight, obviously. Um, you know, we need, you know, to open up the perimeter a lot more. But um, we got some great shots they make. Well, hey LeBron, that that closing lineup you guys had tonight, um, a, a lot of teams, even dating back to last postseason, has struggled when you and AD are with three other perimeter players. Um, do you feel like that lineup they had tonight is is a little bit of a ace in the hole that you guys have to to really match up well with anybody? Well, it's always good to know that you can go down the stretch and uh, go to AD at the five, and me at kind of like that point forward, and then surround us with guards and shooters. Um, and defenders, if, if need be, um, you know, we have a lot of uh, minutes as far as with AD at the five and me kind of playing the four on defense and playing the point on the offensive end, you know, so it was a good good lineup for us. And then also having KCP out there with AC um, and Dennis, you know, it just gave us, gave us a lot of dimension, uh, both offensively and defensively. <clears throat> and. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, LeBron. Uh, AD was under 20 points again tonight. Um, it, it, what do you kind of, what do you think of his offensive rhythm right now? And are there things that you guys can do to try to get him going a little bit more, or is this just him working his way into the season still? You say AD? Yeah, Anthony. Um, no, I thought, um, you know, he missed some shots that he's accustomed to making, um, you know, and. I think um, AD is in a, in a pretty good rhythm right now, and I think every game is, uh, you know, getting better and better for him. But you know, it's our job to give him the ball. You know, it's our job to give him the ball. Um, and I thought we did a great job at times. At times, we did not. Um, so uh, we got to be better as well with that. Dave, about a couple of years back, we were in Philly, and you were talking about the Sixers squad and the expectations placed upon them, and you said everybody wants instant oatmeal, but it takes some time for these things to come together. How do you view them now, the, the number one team in the East, and uh, they just played you guys down to the wire? Um, I think it's a, it's a really good team that they put together. Um, you know, I give a lot of credit to, to Ellen Brand and, uh, you know, and, and the things that they're doing here. Um, you know, obviously, Doc is always one, um, pretty much wherever he's been. Um, and you got to play some really good basketball. So, you know, we see as the, as the season goes on, you know, there's going to be a lot of teams in the Eastern Conference that's going to play uh, championship basketball down the stretch. And, I know they believe that they're one of those teams. Two more, Bill. Hey, LeBron, um, that run that you guys had in the fourth, um, uh, you know, started with a, c a couple of buckets from, from Alex, and then he has steel in there also. I'm just wondering, how has, have his contributions maybe evolved, or, you know, what what is um, what is different about the way he's contributing to this group this year, and, and just how much better is he than he was a year ago? I mean, AC is uh, whatever we need. Um, AC is kind of a Swiss Army knife, to be honest. You know, um, you know, if you need scissors, you need a wine opener, you need a fingernail clipper, if you need a knife, um, he's all of that in one. Um, he can do it all. I mean, he just helps our ball club in so many different ways. He can bring the ball up, play the point. He can play off the ball. I mean, he's shooting, uh, you know, dead eye from the three this year, and he defends at a high level, you know, and, uh, you know, and he doesn't make many mistakes. So, you, know, you always can live with that. You can live with a guy on the floor like that and uh, just play championship basketball. So you make him open your wine for you? And I open my own wine. I open my own wine, I'm going to be honest. Uh, I would not let him open my wine, and that's no disrespect to him. But uh, when it comes to my wine, I trust myself. See you. 
Uh, hey, LeBron. I was just uh, wondering, you know, with how long you've been on the top, you've obviously had to adapt to a lot of things. I was just wondering how it is that you manage changing your game and just change in general. Um, you have to change with the times, I guess. Um, you have to continue to evolve. I mean, when I came into the league, it was literally um, a big man's league, uh, pretty much. And I don't mean that it's not a big man's league. Now I mean, like, fours and fives pretty much played in the paint. Um, you know, you, you had – you know, you know, big guys, and they, it was a lot of posting up, a lot of posting up, things of that nature. You had some, some flick wings and things of that nature, but um, it was a you know a big body, big man game. And um, you know, as the as the league evolves, you have to be able to evolve with it if you want to keep up with the time, uh, keep up with the Joneses, or keep up with the Jameses in my case. So, uh, you know, just uh, for me, never putting a cap on my ceiling. Um, you know, I just want to always continue to get better and. You know, do things out on the floor that's uh, maybe hasn't been done in, in other people's careers, um, and uh, continue to push the envelope and see how much I can, how much juice I can squeeze out of the room. So um, that was pretty loud, but that's uh, it's okay. Um, so it's just always trying to, you know, put myself, like I said, in a, in a position to be successful. Continue to work on my game, work on my mind, work on my body, and uh, and see what the cards is uh, how they be played. You know, you, you play the hand that's dealt to you, and just uh, go from there. There, thank you. Oh, that's it. That's it. Thank you. No games to start the season. Uh, got away from you from from you guys tonight. What were some of the reasons you you saw out there? Um, a couple breakdowns here and there uh, defensively, especially transition. Um, you know, when we, we were getting um, on the third quarter, we were getting control of the game, and then a couple breakdowns and gave them you know good looks um, that uh, they they made and made us pay for that. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, I thought you know we did a great job of uh, fighting and climb to get back into the game. Um, great effort. Uh, they made a good play at the end. We could have did a little better job as a team to get that stop. Uh, but you know, you gotta congratulate the, the the other team and move on. You guys had been hitting a lot of threes this season. Uh, had a tough time for the first three and a half quarters, but then three in a row kind of made it close. Was it a case of a little bit uh, too little, too late? Um, no, I mean, uh, they, they got us back into the game and, and we actually got ahead. Uh, so uh, obviously you, you, you wish to make them all uh, and, and, and shoot 100 percent, but that's not how uh, life works. You talk about a player like uh, Joel Embiid and tonight it was Tobias Harris who really kind of stood up and obviously hit the go ahead basket. How good is this Sixers team? Um, they, they, you know, they know what they're looking for. Um, I think, you know, they all, all the players accepted their, their roles and, and want to excel in them. Um, they know, you know, what they want to leave by offensively and uh, what they want to leave by defensively. So, and they're comfortable with it. Obviously, um, they get into the free throw line a lot and, uh, and that, you know, that, that controls the game in a way.